Good morning everybody and uh, from a sunny South Africa the cold has passed but I can still feel it in the air slightly but it's not bad at all I'm not complaining I'm really enjoying this weather again but I am getting my jacket ready I just took it out and I decided you know what sometimes if you've got monkeys you have to clean your jacket a little bit more often than anything else so that's what I've been doing in the last couple of minutes and uh, Diego is just walking over there while we're cleaning the blankets for all the animals Enzo should be around about there let me just see where he is I don't see him around there oh there he comes give him a second there he is taking his walk and birds everywhere the enclosure is quite clean, swimming pool's got fresh water in it, and they are just taking their walks. Dove right over there. Let's see what happens when Enzo passes right by him. Now nah, Enzo is passing a little further. <laughs> but Diego is taking care of some business over there. And it's just quite a nice day. Well, got to get started. Actually, I've already started. And the uh, first thing I had to do this morning was clip some toenails. And I did. All of these little kittens, I did clip their toenails because it was becoming quite a problem. And uh, yeah, I think... I'm going to have to clip Diego's toenails as well because he has really been scratching Enzo and uh, yeah, it's unfortunately one of those things. But going to be getting a bottle of milk, feeding him that and then if I can just get one or two clipped, that's already quite good. And uh, yeah, let me get started. Just quickly going to finish my jacket off and uh, yeah, you have to wear one of these. A, basically a sealed jacket if you take monkeys out of the cage because their hands and feet are quite dirty and it will be a good idea if you can keep a leather jacket on your back not that they're gonna bite you anything but because of the dirt <laughs> and you can just wipe it later so yeah let me get started and uh I'll show you guys how I'm going to clip Diego's nails a little later. And the tigers are thinking that this is for them, but it's not. This is for Jackie from Victoria. Victoria, here is the reaction on Jackie's face as she's opening it up. I just thought I'm going to get her here now. Let her open it and I was holding it back from her because <laughs> we needed to get the right reaction from her. And uh, yeah, let's see that. But he's coming through to check it out as well. That seems like okay. some kind of a fossil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, it's stunning. It could, it, well, it's got some points like a star. It's a little sand, so it's very fragile. You can look at this. You can see this, the sand. So we're going to treat it real softly. And uh, yeah, that okay. looks just like a fossil or something of the kind. Uh, well, I'm going to have to get that showcase made up immediately. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. And uh, yeah, we will just... And here's a shell as well. Because I think I've started a seashell collection with all kinds of things. And now the cats are coming to check it out. And yeah, I'm going to start working on that cabinet, display cabinet immediately because some of these things are real fragile and uh, we're gonna have to keep it perfectly safe just take a look at little Bella over here Let me just open her up here 
Just look at that little face. <laughs> and she's really uh, taking up so much time. And she's going to be wearing her little harness pretty soon. She's growing into it. She will be so easy to control when she's wearing that. And just look at those little teeth. I'm going to zoom in on them. You can see what they look like. Just look at that. Open up, Bella. I'm going to have to help her a little. Just look at that. <laughs> that little gum. Just look at those teeth. Okay, so if you're going to give the tigers milk in a bottle, just get a bottle. And this one has got like a little valve on the front that can open and close. I don't really need that, but I need this edge. And this edge will secure this right on there. Now this is not for tigers, this is just for normal farm animals uh, like sheep and goats and things like that. But I just take the scissors, I just cut a little cross right on the front and then push it over that edge and that will be perfect. Well, got to get started. Enzo! Okay, we're going to try and cut Diego's nails because look at that even on his nose he's got scratches and uh, yeah even if I can get near, just two or three then it will already be okay so I'm gonna try and get Diego he's gonna stand up and then I'm gonna try and get all of those so let's see that got a pair of clippers right here and uh, Normally when he stands I'll give some to Enzo as well Enzo is such a good boy But Diego is the one that we need to give this So he can stand up and I can reach his nails There he goes Okay, now He's a bit tall but I'm going to try and get there I got one and just to show you this just look at that they are huge let's try that again I'm gonna stand away Diego yeah Jackie calls him Didi that's his nickname he's got so many names Let's just see if he stands up. I'm going to stand away. Let's see that. Now oh, he's got milk all over his face. He's going to get up. That's it. Got one, two. Well, I got three already. see that he sure is big people don't realize how tall these tigers become when they stand on their back legs they just rise over the top Enzo always such a good boy <laughs> it's been a while since I've gave them milk so they they really looking forward to it. <laughs> He's gonna get up now. Just check that out. And it's not even up. Ah, almost had it. Just taking his time and let me see if I can, if I hold it a bit higher, if he's going to jump up. Because if you don't hold it high enough, then also it becomes a problem. It's difficult for him to stand only halfway up. So let's see this. Come, Diego. Just 
takes it. And he takes it. And he just. Ah, let's see that. Come, Diego. Come, Diego. Now he's listening to something outside. We'll just see if he gets up. Well, if you can get even one every time, cool. then you will definitely get it done eventually. So that's what it's about. It's not about getting them all done at once. It's about getting even just one clipped. And I'm just going to pull that synthetic lawn out of his teeth. Just look at that. <laughs> it was stuck between his teeth. Because, yeah, he was pulling it around last night, some of the lawn. Ah, and there he takes it. <laughs> and he gives it back. Can you believe it? <laughs> okay, let me just put it back on here again. Come, Diego. Come, come. Come, Diego. Diego, no, yes, that's the best I'm going to be able to do right now. If he gets up, I'm sure I'm going to get another at least two or three nails clipped. Let's see that. No. Uh, Okay, I'm just going to give it to him and we'll see. <laughs> Little bit higher. Focus the off horse, Vicky or Victor. Let's just focus on his teeth so you can see what they look up close like. <laughs> This time I don't think he's gonna throw it out, but I'm gonna show him this. Diego, get this off. Diego! Hey, put that. Diego! Diego! I want him to see the milk. So, Diego. <laughs> I don't want him to swallow that. I think he's going to, but let me just see. Mm, he swallowed it. Okay, well, that's it for now. Nothing more I can do, but at least we got three. And, uh... We'll do it again a little later. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And have a good day.